Okay, so hello guys. So welcome to another tutorial video from Lectures ni Sir Mars. Ayun. So in this video, I am going to discuss to you how to compute for the slope and inclination of a line. So this topic is actually from analytic geometry na subject, no? And I hope that you will learn from this video. Okay, so let's start with computing the slope of a line. So the symbol for slope is M, okay? So we know Usually, pag engineering ka guys, no, you know that the slope is computed as rise over run. So, for example, we have a line and we know two points where the line passes through. For example, point 1, uh, which has coordinates of x1 chaka y1, no, ay nadadaanan nga ng line. And another point, which is point 2, uh, x2, y2 yung kanyang coordinates, and nadadaanan din siya ng line. Then, we can compute the slope of this line by computing the rise and the run. Okay, so what is the rise? The rise is the vertical distance of these two points. Okay, so it, it is not necessarily, guys, that the points are both ends ng line. No, uh, hindi kailangan. No? As long as the points are two points that are the ng line, then you can compute the rise and the run. So, ayun, so the rise here is y2 minus y1. Okay, that is simply the difference between the ordinates of the two coordinates. Okay, so again, uh, y2 minus y1. And the run here is x2 minus x1. So take note, guys, that y2, that if, if you assign this as point 2, then dapat uh, the, the abscissa is x2 and the ordinate is y2. And if you assign this as point 1, uh, the abscissa is uh, x1 and the ordinate is y1. Hindi po pwede, no? It is not allowed that you interchange uh, the subscript, no? For example, you make this x1, then y2 yung, it's, it is not allowed, guys. Okay. So, kasi ang nangyayari niyan is mag-change yung sign, no? Mamamali ka kapag ka nag-compute ka na ng slope. Okay? So, yun. So, of course, no? Since the rise is y2 minus y1, then we just substitute here the rise. And the run, of course, is x2 minus x1. So, obviously, this is now the formula for the slope of the line, no? Passing through two known points. Okay, so I just want to uh, give you a technique, guys. No? Uh, mas maganda kapag ka alam na alam mo, I mean, alam mo na kaagad kung ano yung magiging sign ng slope. Take note that the slope may be positive and it may be negative. Okay, so uh, the line may be, uh, okay, so take note na yung line natin may be uh, leaning rightward or maybe leaning leftward or maybe horizontal or maybe vertical. Okay, so if the line is leaning rightward, okay, for example, the line is something like this, no? Uh, take note that the slope of that is always positive. And if the line is leaning le leftward, the slope of that is always negative. And if take note, if the line is horizontal, then the slope is always zero for that line. Okay, back it's zero. Why is it zero? It's because a horizontal line has no rise, no? Wala tayong rise na compute. That is zero. So zero divided by any number is always zero. So the slope here is zero. Okay, for the, if the line is vertical line, no? Okay, so the run is zero. Okay, take note that if the line is the vertical line, that slope is always undefined. So it doesn't have a slope, okay? Okay, so why is it that it's undefined? Because the run is zero. So uh, the run is in the denominator. So any number divided by zero, that is undefined. So wala siyang slope, guys. So you have to remember that, no? So that uh, when you compute, no? Meron ka ng idea sa kung ano yung lalabas nga na sign ng slope. Okay? Now let's proceed to the inclination of a line, which is the, ito, ito yung angle theta ng ating line. So, where is that angle theta? That is simply the angle that the line makes with the horizontal, okay? So, take note that inclination of the line is always uh, measured from the horizontal, no? Maaring counterclockwise or maaring clockwise, no? But if it is counterclockwise, it is positive, it is a positive angle. But if it is uh, clockwise, it is a negative angle. Anyway, so we know from the differential calculus, guys, that the slope is equal to tangent theta or tangent theta is equal to slope. And we know the kanina from uh, the old slide like, uh, kanina earlier, no, that the slope is y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1 uh, measured from rise over run formula. Okay? So what will happen to this formula is, of course, tangent theta will be equal to slope and the slope nga again is y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. So this, uh, by taking the arc tangent of the theta, 
of this um, formula, then we can now compute for the theta, the inclination uh, of a line passing through two points measured from the horizontal. Okay, so ayun. So let me give you another technique, guys, no? so that you know, uh, so that hindi ka mamamali when you compute for the inclination of the line. So take note that if the slope is positive, the theta will, all, will also be positive. It means that the angle is measured counterclockwise, no? Kasi nga, it's positive. The angle is positive, okay? If the slope is negative, the angle na lalabas sa inyong calculator will be negative. It means that the uh, angle was measured uh, clockwise from the horizontal, okay? And if the slope is zero, obviously, no? When the slope is zero, it is a horizontal line. So the theta is also zero kasi nga horizontal line yun, okay? And if the slope is undefined, then the theta is 90 degrees, no? Kasi nga, take note that if the slope is undefined, it is a vertical line and obviously, no, a vertical line makes a 90 degree angle with the horizontal, okay? So let us now solve this problem, guys. Okay? So the, problem, the problem is, a line is passing through points negative 5, 3, and 4, 2. Determine the slope of the line and then determine the inclination of the line. Okay, so let's solve this problem, guys, in this board, okay? So first, no, it would be helpful, guys, if we plot first these points and uh, the line, okay? So let's plot this one. So of course, uh, 4, 2 is located at Quadrant 1, because both abscissas and ordinates are positive. And then point, uh, and then the point negative 5, 3 is located at quadrant 2 because the abscissa is negative and the ordinate is positive. Okay, so if we connect this, this is the line that we are uh, going to compute where uh, it's, its slope and the inclination. Okay, so of course the slope again, that is the M. That is what we are going to compute, and the slope is equals to, again, that is y2 minus y1 divided by x2 minus x1, okay? So now we have to assign uh, which of these points is point 1 and which of this point is point 2, okay? So let's, let me assign the 4, 2, guys, as the point 1, that is... Uh, Ibig sabihin, guys, no? It means that x1 here is 4, y1 is 2, and let me assign this negative 5, 3 as the point 2. So, negative 5 will be x2, and 3 will be y2, okay? So, by substituting these values, guys, to our formula, so that will be 3 minus 2 divided by negative 5 minus 4. So, of course, the slope will be negative 1 over 2. Nine. And this is the answer, guys. No? So uh, when we look at the choices, of course, the answer here is letter D, which is negative 1 over 9. Okay, so let's now proceed to the number 2, that is the inclination of the line. Okay, so for the inclination of the line, we are going to compute for the theta. Okay, so see nga, guys, no? so our slope kanina was negative. So, ano yung lalabas na theta dito? Diba, obviously, no, kung mag-expect tayo, guys, ng value ng theta, it will be a negative na value. No? Kasi nga, slope natin is negative. So, kung negative siya, that means it is measured count clockwise from the horizontal. Okay, so anyway, so let us uh, compute now. So, obviously, no, we know that tangent theta is equals to y2 minus y1. This is our formula earlier, Okay. Okay, so of course, now we are going to substitute the values of y2, y1, x2, and x1. So that will be uh, the, so ito na yung mangyayari. Okay, so tangent theta will be equals to negative 1 over 9. Okay, obviously, di ba? Kasi nga, tangent theta is equals to slope. Okay, so the slope is negative 1 over 9. So actually, pw pwede tayong dumiretso kagad from tan to tangent theta equals to negative 1 over 9. Okay. So, yun guys, no, so obviously, no, when you, when we take the arc tangent of negative 1 over 9, it will be negative 6.34 degrees. So, where is that negative 6.34 degrees? Actually, that is this angle, guys, measured, okay, from the horizontal to the line measured clockwise. So, it is 6.34. Okay, so, uh, okay, so take note, guys, no, we are, uh, ang hinahanap natin dito is the inclination of the line. And the answer nga is negative 6.34. So, walang negative 6.34 dito. 
The only choices are 173.66, 6.34, 29.05, 150.95. So we cannot choose the 6.34 here because it is positive. No, It will only be correct if the choice B here is negative 6.34. Kung meron siyang negative. No? However, the choice here is 6.34, so it is not necessarily the answer. Okay? So, uh, since mga positive man yung nandito, na, nandito sa choices, it means that the angle uh, here na measured is actually this angle that is measured uh, counterclockwise from the horizontal. So, what is that angle? So, obviously, now we know that uh, that this angle total is 180 degrees, di ba? So, the theta will be 180. Ito yung ating theta na hinahanap, okay? Is equals to 180 minus 6.34, and that will be equals to 173.66 degrees. Okay, so that angle, okay, so the answers here, guys, is either 173.66 degrees or negative 6.34 degrees, okay? So, obviously, ang pipiliin natin, guys, is yung 173.66 because that is yung nandun sa choices, okay? So, the answer is 173.66 degrees. So, I hope you understand the discussion, guys. No, So, uh, madali lang naman yung pag-compute ng slope and inclination. So, I hope na naintindihan niya nga yung ating tutorial. Okay? So, please don't forget to like and subscribe to my videos, guys, to my channel. And if you have any questions related to what I have been discussing here in my channel, no, pwede nyo kayong i-email and you can also message me on Facebook. So, that's it, guys. So, ayun. So, thank you and bye-bye.